And then comes the next day, and once again, it's head for the hills. Iowa Western's been taking no prisoners. The Reavers come out swinging in game three. Now Falcon starter Michael Stercevich strikes out the side in the first inning. The right-hander allows one hit through three. Matt Lloyd keeping pace. Lloyd six Ks through four innings. Bottom of the fourth, runners at the corners. Luke Morgan bangs a base hit. Matt Hoy, who singled scores, and Big Blue's on the board. Next batter, Tyler Garrison right on the button. Another run comes around, and the route is on. Later up seven to zip, batting around. Gets by the second baseman. Nick Menken scores, and another. A nine-run inning in all Iowa Western bangs out eight hits. Hello. Now winning pitcher Matt Lloyd goes four plus. Jacob Sylvester finishes the job. The Reavers humble the Hills 11 to one in five. Guys are gonna get tired uh, eventually. And uh, you know, another big thing is getting them into the stretch quite a bit. Any pitcher uh, getting them in the stretch tends to uh, to help out quite a bit. And we're, we just notoriously score in bunches. And uh, you know, that's what we did today. Yeah, well, you guys, it's contagious. One guy gets a hit, and all of a sudden, bang, it's 9 nothing. Yeah, I mean, it happens. We're, we're a team that likes to roll on, on things. One guy starts hitting, everybody else falls, and that's just how the game went. So, not exactly a walk in the park, but it's close. Iowa Western's now 6-1 and one against Indian Hills so far this season. Game two, a little different. Scoreless through four innings. Falcon starter Trevor Kaminsky gives up just three hits, 10 ground ball outs. And then the old four, six, three, double play. Meanwhile, Jacob Nigemeyer goes five for the Reavers. Strikes out five and gives up just two hits. Bottom of the fifth, after Chase Hager reaches on an error, Declan Doyle rolls one through the right side. Hager is coming home, and he's safe. And then Jared Gates gets a pitch he likes, and would you believe? A two-run shot for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And just like that, it's 3-0 Iowa Western. Now reliever Clayton Cope gives up a couple of hits in the seventh inning, but ends it with a strikeout. As the Reavers KO the Falcons again, Three to zip. We were trying to jump on fastballs. We were fortunate to get on a couple and get some base hits. Uh, Doyle getting that base hit through the four hole on a fastball, and that's what we were trying to do late. I just executed my pitches. Uh, Reardon had a good game plan. Just got to you know locate my spots and uh, just trust the defense. The defense played good behind me, and uh, I knew offense would eventually score. You can't keep those bats quiet. So you're up there one nothing. You just looking to put the barrel on the ball, put a ball in play? Yeah, two outs, just uh, looking to put the ball in play somewhere hard, and I got a good pitch, middle in, and happened to hit it out. I think it was yesterday someone said, you know, you know, how do you feel, you know, with the big rivalry and everything like that? I mean, I, I really don't see it as a rivalry, and, and no disrespect, I'm just saying it's it's another game. Uh, it's no disrespect to them. I mean, I, I don't know who our rivalry is. I mean, we got to defend ourselves every time we play. We're the one who's Iowa Western. We're the one that's that's won a lot lately. That's right. Make that now the last 13 in a row for the Reavers. Oh